FRC teams are made up of students of all different disciplines, giving them an opportunity to explore their interests further and to develop new skills. Whether it's engineering, business, visual arts, and even presentations, FRC has something for everyone. However, with such a dynamic environment, FRC teams require several components to be successful. It goes beyond just the students themselves, as parents, school boards, industry experts, sponsors, and community groups are also part of one team to create a large family. Parental involvement. Parental involvement is an integral component of a good FRC team. They often make great sponsors and mentors. Actively recruit all parents and survey them to get the sense of their skill set. There are many areas of a team that parents can get involved in. Engineering and construction. Some parents will be engineers or have useful skills such as machining and programming. They can help with the robot, construction of the robot cart, practice field, organizing a toolbox for competition, and so on. However, most parents will have no experience with robots, but you will be surprised at how their skills will benefit the team. Besides the engineering, parents can help with administrative tasks, mentoring by taking a lead role on sub-teams such as finance, PR, community outreach, website, and spirit. They don't need to have a background in that area, instead just be able to keep the group focused to meet deadlines. Travel and transportation. Help by making travel arrangements for competition and the shipping of the robot. Communications. Food. During the build season when everyone stays late into the evening, parents can take turns providing meals. Spirit and image. Sponsorship. Outreach and overall support. Have one parent take up the lead role to, and organize monthly parent meetings to keep everyone informed. Uh, as a parent of two kids on the program, uh, one that has just graduated from high school and one that has uh, gone through the system through FLL and now into FRC, uh, I've seen huge change uh, first of all in my kids and as a parent I've had a chance to and the opportunity to be involved in various aspects of the team, uh, mainly in the team organizational uh, aspects, the communications aspect and the marketing uh, aspects of the team. Uh, along with that, uh, I think parental involvement truly helps um, the team uh, grow stronger uh, and bigger. School board. Involve your school board with your FRC team. Gaining the support of trustees, superintendents, and principals will provide you with opportunities to grow both your team and the FIRST program in your school district in a sustainable manner. A great way to get started is by sending monthly updates to your teachers, principals, superintendents, and other board members. Invite them to visit you during the build season and cheer for you at competitions. While presenting to your school board members, align yourself with their goals. Remember, the FIRST program inspires students, builds academic su success, and enables careers. Everything that a school board is looking for. FIRST Team 1241, Theory 6, has garnered great interest and support from our school board. Over the last year, we have given multiple presentations at our school board, and invited them to visit our school and competitions. As a result, we have received extensive funding and support from our school board. Our lead mentor has consulted on board meetings to help develop regional robotics programs and we have also been able to start numerous FRC, FLL and Junior FLL teams. Team Organization Well-run companies have an organized structure and management core group to oversee multiple project-specific subgroups working towards the common goal. Most successful FRC teams work under a similar framework. Each FRC team has its own personality, organization and strengths. In order to run efficiently, develop an organizational structure with sub-teams and leaders that work for your team. Identify the roles and responsibilities of each individual. Create an overall timeline including the preseason, build season, competition season, and post-competition season. For each section, identify any deadlines and objectives. Create a weekly schedule. Identify how often you will meet with your subgroup as well as the entire team. Remember, this will vary during preseason and build season. Each subgroup should have their own task list and timelines. Make sure that these are updated in a timely fashion. Develop a realistic business plan and a financial budget. Make effective use of your resources. Remember that there are plenty of resources and help always available in the FIRST community. You can combine all this information into a team handbook so that it is always accessible. Lastly, record your team progress. Take pictures, videos during events, keep minutes for meetings, and keep track of alumni and mentors. Communication. Communication is key. In order to become a successful FRC team, your team must learn to communicate in an effective and efficient manner. This helps to identify what is going on, what still needs to be done while preventing the duplication of tasks. Develop a method for communicating what your team is doing. Target information to the following groups. The team itself, parents, 
sponsors, school administrators, other students and teachers, local politicians, and the community at large. Many teams use email or newsletters. Develop a mentor relation with teams nearby. It is easy to become overwhelmed while starting an FRC team, especially during bill season. As a rookie team, you are bound to have many questions and concerns. Having another team to turn to can provide reassurance, pointers, and someone else to share ideas with. Contact your regional director or look on the usfirst.org website to locate teams in your area. Networking is the key. Make as many contacts with other teams as possible. Talking with other teams helps you learn a lot that you could about FIRST than from any other source. Most teams will be willing to mentor your team. There is a tremendous amount of support in the FIRST community. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Visit a nearby team and talk to their mentors, students, and take a look at how their robot works and see how good their team runs. Maintain good contacts with other teams even after your rookie year. You might never know when you need assistance. In-school and community involvement. Don't restrict your in-school involvement to just your team. Get involved and ensure the entire student body is aware of your team. Hold an open house, make announcements on your PA system, and once you've built your robot, showcase it during school events and let people test drive it. Other school clubs such as DECA, art club, photography, and even your cheerleading team can help out with various aspects of the team, such as drafting the business plan, marketing, making banners, team logo, and decorations for your pin and competition. Take your outreach one step further and get involved in your community. Participate in a charity event as a team. After your first season, you can sign up to offer robotics workshops at your local library or community center. A great outreach and leadership opportunity. Give a presentation to your local city council and invite media to visit you during your build season and competition and make your community aware of your team. Embrace the first principles. It is often easy to lose focus of the main goal, especially during hectic and busy times. Remember, the mission of FIRST is to transform our culture by creating a world where science and technology are celebrated and where young people dream of becoming science and technology leaders. Instill the concept of gracious professionalism and cooperation in every member of your team, student or mentor. Develop a foundation based in respect and recognition. At the end of the day, you are a team, and everyone should feel respected and like they belong, regardless of age, gender, or background. A large part of the success of many teams and FIRST itself is a unique emphasis and approach to teamwork. While things may not always work out smoothly, at the end of the day, you are colleagues, teammates, and a FIRST family. At the end of the season, recognize your mentors, sponsors, parents, volunteers, and students. Holding a year-end banquet is a great way to celebrate the season and everyone's contributions.